the one thing that stood out to me, there were actually two things that I didn't like, and then they're both in a ring as well, is that the cameras are limited to only 10. I have the ring stick up cam, and then I've actually bought two of those, returned one, and then I have the stick up cam pro. So I have a stick up cam pro and a stick up cam right now. The ring stick up cam pro. It's like they did a lot of good stuff. The only downside I would say is maybe is that they made it a little bit bulkier. And I like when the camera is like somewhat small, you know, it was already kind of a decent size. Now it almost feels a little too big, but the stick up cam pro is nice. They like improved the audio quality and they smoothed it out. So it's not like as much like a bunch of scratches and stuff. I, I do remember that on the other stick up cam when you had this, the audio on, it seemed like it picked up like nothing and then little bits of stuff, whereas this one seems like it's just constantly on, picking up little ambient noises. Um, it seems like it might be a little bit louder too. The motion detection technically is better too because it has this um, radar kind of system and I forget it's called like bird's eye or something. That is a pretty good feature, I'm not gonna lie, because it, it finds people without like seeing them on the camera. Or even if somebody was like under your camera, you would you would see right away. There was this one clip, I doubt I could find it, but like my dad walks by and he goes around the corner and I do a little like, I, I make a little noise to the camera just to see I like, control him. And then I'm like just sitting there, not, not thinking much of it. And he walks all the way around to the back gate. Like, and so he's like standing under the camera now. I'm like, oh crap, he has no idea that I know he's there. So I like, you could see exactly where they are with the radar and then also with the visibility from the camera. So I like both those. Um, the new stick up cam pro is supposed to have HDR versus the other one not having HDR again. Fuck the HDR, give me 2K. The way these are positioned, they're also like widescreen cameras. So if it's 1080p, so you already don't have the most like zoom in ability or most ability to like zoom in and see all the details, right? Well, now it's a wide angle. So it's like even less detail to me, you know? And it's like, they make this new one, like it has an even wider angle, which I kind of like because you can see more without the camera moving. So I, I do like that, but then it's like, it's limited to 1080p. So it almost means like I could kind of maybe even see it less with it because the picture is bigger. The resolution's the same. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So 2K would have been fine because like, that's just going to provide ridiculous more clarity and just like more, when you zoom in, it's going to be more clear. The night mode on this is, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I know that one of my neighbors has, I forget what, um, it's called like wise or something but when you look at their camera the wise camera it looks like it's overcast all the time when it's at night so i kind of like that one maybe a hair better but still like the night vision is really good you know it's like if a if somebody turns on their little uh, their car starting their car like just gonna drive away it like flashes like all the the opposite side of the street it looks like it almost is like like, like a, they're shining a bright light at you or something you know what i mean so it does it does get a lot of details it also supposed to have like this pre-roll motion to where it like it, it'll say it'll like basically capture things a little bit before the other camera would it could kind of like go back in time so it's like it's constantly recording for a few seconds and then i guess throwing that footage away so when you actually hit record it has a few seconds before i haven't really noticed that too much but these cameras are great like if you're somebody who like does not care about 2k that does not care about 4k that doesn't mind paying a little bit monthly i mean you kind of have to pay monthly on almost all of them because they're not a bad choice you know i just find myself like i'm like i want to spend more money i want to get other um, ring cameras i want to just make it better but i'm almost about to like should i just cut it off right now and try to get like a eufy camera which has free um like the app is free all the all the abilities you have on it are free versus versus like amazon like blink and like um, the ring, it's like you have to pay monthly. So like for this camera, like for the ring camera, you have to pay $5 a month. That isn't bad for how much features you get. For example, it'll just like literally, every time you watch the camera, it saves it. And every time there's motion, it's like saves it for like a month or two. You just go on there and you hit save. It's so easy to send things like that, you know? And it's just, it's just a nice peace of mind. Like it's, I think it's worth it, you know, to me. I one of, I think the whitest camera was like $3 a month. That is more, that's more reasonable to me. I, th I like that a lot more, but I see where I'm trying to get that five. The good thing about Ring though, is that it, it has a, um, it caps at $10 per location. So let's just say that I wanted uh, as like, I don't know, eight cameras at my one location. Well, it would only be $10 a month versus if I had one camera, it'd be $5 a month. So it's like, I kind of like that, you know, that you could like, if it's at one location, you could stack as many as you want. But anyways, guys, I just find myself wanting more with uh, Ring, the 2K and the 4K. It just, that's probably, might be the thing that pulls me away from it yeah and it's funny i've already paid for the money that the monthly you know subscription i paid for the pro version and it's like i almost think i should cut my losses and get that 4k u fee because it's 4k it, i believe it swivels and turns on its own so basically that's almost like essentially two cameras and then it's like four times 
the resolution. So when you want to zoom in, you see four times more stuff. The app is free. Why don't, why not just suck it up and pay for the Eufy camera, the 4K? That's just what I'm wondering. So anyways, guys, if you tried uh, Blink cameras, if you tried Ring cameras, let me know what your favorite kind of camera is to use down below. Do you use security cameras? Have you ever used security cameras? I'll be very interested to see. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I appreciate it so, so much. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.